and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with me, Chris Tarrant. And I'm joined with today's contestant, Pete Gibbons. Where are you from, Pete? Is that the first question? No, I'm just trying to find out more about you. Oh, okay. I'm from Watford. Very good. And what do you do for a living? What's this? An interrogation? I don't know if I was on Loose Women. Uh, no, it's just, it's just so the people at home can get to know you. I don't think they could care less. Let's get on the quiz, shall we? Okay, well, you need to answer the questions correctly to get your hands on the one million pound jackpot prize. You do, of course, have three lifelines. That's 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Yep, we know how it works. Thanks, Chris. So, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, Pete, here's your first question for £100. YouTuber Trisha Paytas smashed her face into which of these foods? Is it A, coconut? Is it B, pizza? Is it C, carrot cake? Or is it D, steak pie? Are you a fan of Trisha Paytas? Do I look like a fan of Trisha Paytas? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I remember seeing this video somewhere. Um, I don't think it's the cake or the pie. I'm not sure she'd smash her face into a coconut, although I wouldn't put it past her. So, I think I'll go B, pizza. Ooh, you seem fairly confident about this one. Yeah, I'd say so, Chris. Yeah, it rings a bell from somewhere. Okay, for £100, is pizza the correct answer? It's the right answer, it's one hundred pounds Alright, chill out. It's not even paid for the train here. I'm not even in profit yet. Okay, well, the next question is for £500. Oh, we're in the big money now, lads. I'll be buying that island come Monday morning. For £500, Belle Delphine famously fondled which marine mollusk? Is it A, scallop? Is it B, octopus? Is it C, squid? Or is it D, sea snail? Do you know much about animals? Well, I'm not exactly at Simbra, but I know a few things, yeah. So, what are you thinking at the moment? Sorry, how many questions are you going to ask me? Because I've got enough of my plate going on here without you wittering on. I'm just trying to get an idea of what you're thinking, that's all. Well, my gut instinct says octopus, but I've also been thinking, you know, could you fondle a squid? Right, Pete, I'm going to need an answer. Well, obviously, that's how the show works. I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to say B, octopus. That's the right answer. Just for 500 pounds. Honestly, Chris, you're going to have to chill out, mate. You're going to have a heart attack at this rate. We're only at 500 quid. Well, you're after a great start, Pete. Remember, you've got all your lifelines still available to you if you need them. What's with the reminder? I've not got amnesia. Do you know what I mean? I don't need a reminder here. I need two questions in. Okay, well, we'll move on for 1,000 pounds. Which footballer was the best on-the-ball player in the Arsenal Invincible squad? Is it A, Thierry Henry? Is it B, Dennis Bergkamp? Is it C, Cesc Fabregas? Or is it D, Jezza Swaztekas Lynch? This is a toughie. Oh, is it? Oh, thanks for your contribution there, Chris. Do you know much about the Arsenal Invincible squad? Well, I think I was only about four or five, so, you know, I know a little, but not a lot. Um... Okay, I think I need to use the lifeline here. I'm going to go 50-50, please, Chris. Are you sure? Yep. Positive? Yes. Okay, computer, can you take away two answers, leaving one right answer and one wrong answer? Oh, these were the two it was between in my head as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Is it A or D? <clears throat> I think I go for D then, please, Chris. Are you sure? Well, I was, but I don't know now. You're putting me off. No, no, we'll go D. Confident? Oh, Chris, get on with it. You'll be going to the adverts next. Okay, well, for one thousand pounds, you said D. Jens Swaz Tekers Lynch. Was D the correct answer? We'll find out after the break. Oh, you knob. Yes, welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Before the break, Pete was playing for £1,000. And I still am, thanks to you. He gave the answer D, Jez Swaz Tegas Lynch. Was that the right answer? You just won £1,000! Right, well I'm here to win a thousand times that, so let's crack on, shall we, yeah? I'm not here all week. Okay, but first, congratulations, because you've guaranteed yourself £1,000. Why are you writing checks out now? I've not finished yet. And it's not 1990. Well, no matter what happens from this point onwards, you have guaranteed yourself £1,000. You can, of course, take that home now, or we can continue on to the next question. Well, I haven't come on who wants to be a millionaire to go home with a grand, have I? 
Next question. Okay, well, I must warn you, the questions will begin to get a little bit tougher now as we play for two and a half thousand pounds. Here's your next question. How did YouTuber Tatty title her James Charles cancellation video? Was it A, Die Sister? Was it B, Bye Sister? Was it C, Bye Mister? Or was it D, by Blister. Lots of YouTube questions coming up here, Chris. You got any other questions, or just just the YouTube ones? Yes, yeah, so we've got lots of different topics coming up. We've got one about pedos and another about mayonnaise. Oh well, I'll stay tuned then. So how familiar are you with the James Charles and Tassie drama? Too familiar. The answer's B, by Sister. Now that is my final answer. Yes, I'm confident about it. Lock it in. Okay, well you picked B, by Sister, for two and a half thousand pounds. Is that the right answer? Congratulations, you won two and a half thousand pounds! Surprise, surprise. You see, it was a waste of a check. Okay, well, here is your next question for five thousand pounds. In 2019, Prince Andrew claimed he was not a pedo because he was too busy eating at which restaurant chain? You'll notice they're starting to get a bit harder now. Is it A, Burger King, B, Pizza Prince, C, Pizza Express, or D, Nando's? Do you know much about this? Do I know much about being a pedo? Allegedly a pedo. No, if I did, I wouldn't be here, would I? Okay, but which restaurant did he claim to be in during that infamous Newsnight interview? It's Pizza Express, Chris. Lock it in. Is that your final answer? Yes, it's my final answer. You just won £5,000! I don't know why you're getting so carried away. We're not splitting this. Right, Pete, you've answered five questions so far. The next question will see you halfway through the questions required to get to the £1 million jackpot prize. Are you ready for question number six at £10,000? Yes. Okay, here we go. For £10,000. Online viral sensation Big Ed spreads which of these condiments on his hair? Is it A, Tabasco, B, mustard, C, vinegar, or D, mayonnaise? Do you know much about viral sensation Big Ed? No, unfortunately I don't, but I think I know someone who might. And who's that? My mum. She's a big fan of him. Oh, so you'd like to phone a friend? No, I'd like to phone my mum. Okay, well, we're going to use one of your lifelines to phone your mum. Um, what's her name and where's she from? Oh, don't be trying all that. She's happily married, thanks. But you can call her Jackie. Okay. Hello? Jackie, hello. It's Chris Tarrant here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh my god, Chris, I'm such a big fan. They used to have your poster on my wall. <laughs> Then you got really old. Oh, okay. Uh, Jackie, I've got your son Peter here, uh, playing for £10,000. And he needs your help, so no pressure. The next voice you will hear will be your son Peter. Peter, you've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, Mum, the question is, online viral sensation Big Ed spreads which of these condiments on his hair? Is it A, Tabasco, B, Mustard, C, Vinegar, or D, Mayonnaise? Well, your Uncle Paddy used to wash his hair with vinegar, and he'd come round smelling like a chippy, he would, so I think it's vinegar, love. Are you sure? Oh no, Big Ed. He's the one that puts mayo in his hair, isn't he? I think it might be mayonnaise, actually, love. Speak soon. Oh, nothing like a concrete answer. Jesus. Right, well, your mum thought it was vinegar to begin with, and then changed her mind right at the end to mayonnaise. Oh, thanks for summarising that, Chris. Yes, but I was just the one that found her. So, what's it going to be, Pete? I'm going to go for D, mayonnaise, please, Chris. Okay, you've gone for D, mayonnaise. Now, if you'd said C... I didn't say C, though, did I? I said D. No, but you nearly said C. And if you did say C, you'd have been wrong, so the correct answer is D. You've just won £10,000! Let's get a move on. Come on, get me on the proper money. Okay, well, up next is question seven for £20,000. Internet star Jackie Weaver went viral after a councillor claimed what? Is it A, you have no authority, my dear? Is it B, you have no authority here? Is it C, you have no majority here? Or is it D, you're not a minority here? Do you know much about this particular story? Yeah, I think it's the Zoom call that went viral. I wish this was on Zoom, to be honest with you. Save us all a bit of time. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure the answer is B. You have no authority here. Final answer? Yeah. Well, no messy about giving us that answer. You've gone for B. You have no authority here. That's the correct answer. You've just won £20,000. So I've answered seven questions correctly in a row now. And yeah, I'm only on 20 grand, but if I get the next five questions correct, I win a million. How does that make any sense? Just go with it. 
Okay, Pete, you've got one lifeline remaining, and that is, of course, Ask the Audience. If you get the next question right, you're guaranteed £50,000. Here goes. Which animal was Shane Dawson accused of having an affair with? Is it A, cat? Is it B, badger? Is it C, chicken? Or is it D, hamster? More highbrow questions there, Chris. Uh, I don't think it's possible to do that a lot with a hamster, to be honest. Um, badgers, I think you see more dead than alive, so that's unlikely. Uh, chicken is a possibility, though. You're going to need an answer. Oh, look at you getting lippy. It was all right before when I was sat here for half an hour waiting for you to give me the answer. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to push you for an answer here. All right, I'm going to go cat. I think it's ringing a bell from somewhere. Um, I think he might also have a cat as well, so it does sort of make some sort of sense. Okay, you've gone for A, cat. That's the right answer, you just won £50,000! Brilliant. Right, now we're in the big money. It's incredible the way you've manoeuvred your way through the questions so far. Fantastic stuff. Don't be turning on the charm now, Tarrant. You're still not getting any of it. Okay, well, let's see if you can add to your total. You are, of course, now guaranteed £50,000, so this next question you have nothing to lose. So, question 9 for £100,000. Which of the following is the name of a Jeffree Star makeup palette? Is it A, dead inside? Is it B, buried alive? Is it C, burnt alive? Or is it D, cremated? Are you into makeup? No, but it looks like you are. Absolutely caked in it. Look at you. Am I? No, it's just the lighting. Anyway, you got a, an answer for me? Mmm, swift change of subject. I mean, I think all of these are pretty rank names, to be honest with you. Um, I thought people wore makeup to try and look alive, not dead. Uh, so, I'm not really sure on this one, Chris. I'd like to ask the audience. Right, on your keypads, please, audience. Which of the following is the name of a Jeffree Star palette? Is it A, dead inside, B, buried alive, C, burns alive, or is it D, cremated? All vote now. <laughs> Well, it's entirely your choice here, Pete. Yes, it is. Yes, you're right, Chris. But well, I'm going to go with the audience on this one. So I'm going to go with D, cremated. Final answer. You've just won the £100,000! Ah, easy as that. We're still not splitting this, by the way. Well, Pete, you've answered nine questions correctly, and now you've used all of your lifelines with three questions to go. How are you feeling? Hundred grand richer. I mean, if I do want to win this, I should also win your job as quiz master as well. Because, I mean, have you even won a quiz before? Nah. You haven't, have you? All you do is you read off your little cue cards. That's how you get your million quid. Yeah, anyone with eyes can do that. This takes actual knowledge. Finished? Just about. Okay, well, now on to question 10 for £250,000. Here's your question. In 2020, celebrities saved the world from a virus by singing which song? Is it A, I'm sexy and I know it? Is it B, better now? Is it C, fix you? Or is it D, imagine? Come on, Pete, answer this correctly and you're two questions away from winning one million pounds. Oh, cheers for that rousing speech, Chris. Well, are you familiar with any of these songs? Yes, because I haven't lived under a rock for the last ten years. My final answer is D, imagine. Lock it in. Wow, okay, you seem confident with your answer. Where does this confidence come from? Birth. Well, you should be confident because you just won £250,000! Alright, chill out. You could win that on deal or no deal. Let's crack on. Well, okay, you've answered 10 questions correctly. Question 11 is for £500,000, and if you get it right, you'll be one question away from the million pound jackpot. You really don't have to keep spelling this out for me. I do know how this game works. Okay, well, here's your question. Who is Man Like Hacks? Is it A, don't know? Is it B, don't care? Is it C, comedian? Or is it D, funny Scotsman? Well, I've got my answer, Chris. I'm gonna go for A and B. Wow, for the first time on Who Wants To Be A Millionaire, the contestant has given two answers. You've gone for A, don't know, and B, don't care. Well, for 500,000 pounds, are those the right answers? You've just won half a million pounds! Unbelievable! I was certain you were going to slip up on that one. Nah, man's got tackers. Well, now you find yourself just one question away from being a millionaire. How do you know I wasn't already a millionaire? My mate's got a Lambo. Okay, well, now on to the final question for one million pounds. How long did YouTuber Alison give last in his boxing match against Jake Paul? Not very long. Is it A, 1 minute 15? Is it B, 3 minutes 12? Is it C, 2 minutes 18? 
or is it D, five minutes, seven seconds? Do you know much about this one? Well, it's not five minutes, seven seconds. That's probably how long the ring walks lasted. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was quite early on, but I don't think it was as early as one minute 15 either. That seems too quick. Did you watch the fight? No, because I've got a life. Just about. Uh, I think I've made up my mind, Chris. I'm going to go final answer is C, 2 minutes 18. Wow, a swift decision there. Okay, for one million pounds, is C, 2 minutes 18, the correct answer? Don't go anywhere, we'll find out after the break. Are you serious? Okay, welcome back to Who Wants To Be A Millionaire. Before the break, Pete was asked how long did YouTuber Anderson Gibb last in his boxing match against Jake Paul. After little deliberation, he gave the answer C, 2 minutes 18. Confident? Oh, let's not go through this again. Okay, well, is C, 2 minutes 18 the correct answer? You've just won one million pounds! Alright, just PayPal me it, mate. Cheers. Guess that's me out of a job then.